let's have a little look at what was going on there. <clears throat> this is a Max for Life device called MetaMIDI. You take a kind of improvised clip, like a MIDI clip, just playing some chords and stuff and some notes, and then this device chops it up, randomly chooses a loop, and you can assign it to some pads. So we just heard this MIDI clip here. Uh, I'm not going to play it. And you can see here the device has created 16 virtual kind of clips or loops from this main master clip. And you can see the loop positions all in different places, and these get triggered by these pads. You can have 16, I just have 8 here. <laughs> Because it's MIDI, we can change the sound. So, a piano sound. With some effects on. Or a road sound. And also because it's MIDI, we can pitch shift without any artifacts. A bit difficult to tell because there are effects on this video. And even better, you can put on an arpeggiator. So, yeah, um, you set it up by I'm going to delete out that clip. Uh, you choose, so you play in, let's uh, quickly play in a MIDI clip. Something like that. We go into the device, click on this tiny little button that says list, choose the Rhodes channel, choose the clip, Rhodes 13. We're going to hit ingest. That's going to create us a MIDI track called MM Output, and it is going to randomly select a MIDI, like a, a small loop out of this main clip. I've done something wrong. So let's just hit that again. Let's delete that. We've got the name of the clip, and then we've got the note number, the 46th note, which is quite a good one. The start position in beats, 23, so 23 divided by 4 at 89 BPM is the start position, and the pitch, which is a G. So once I have those notes there, I can route this audio to, sorry, route this MIDI to the Rhodes track. And now I can trigger these clips. I mean, I can press play with the mouse. But I can also uh, hit the pads. So just turn off the arpeggiator. So. say the only one I like out of all of those is this one. You can see it's flashing down here, G2. So I am going to deselect that one, makes it grey, which means now when I hit the reshuffle button it will pick random loops again but ignore this one. It will keep this one because we've greyed it out. We're like, don't, don't touch this one. Reshuffle and you can see the different values have changed here. You can hit reshuffle again. That's why when I loaded the clip the first time, some of these freeze 
states were set so it wasn't triggering every it wasn't loading the clips into into each slot <laughs> Might say we like I don't know this one. Don't know why, but we might need to move the loop brace forwards or back so I can hit uh, a shortcut key and just move that loop brace forwards and back. So that was I was hitting the keyboard, which was mapped to the previous and next buttons here. That's about it really. You can, if you really want for kind of debugging or dev purposes, have a look at the MIDI notes that have been read from the clip by clicking on view clip notes. You can really open up the JavaScript as well. Kind of made this half as an educational piece. So quite a few bits to learn there. Uh, you can reset these triggers, uh, these MIDI note triggers to 36 upwards over uh, 16 pads. Whatever note you enter here will be saved with the session, so you won't have to enter these each time. And yeah, you can ingest another clip. I'm going to click on list. Note roads. I can go for clip nine, and I can ingest that. And you can see they've all been updated. And that's about it. Enjoy. <laughs>